The American dream typically is people owning property and having children, but that's becoming largely inaccessible for many people. Action. America needs a challenge, an over-the-top Mr. B-style challenge. One billion dollar super yacht. Like if someone wins like $10 billion, that'd be the biggest prize in the history of America. But right now, America has a whole bunch of problems. 66% of U.S. renters surveyed say rising prices leave them feeling hopeless about ever owning a home. Like what is America known for? Are, are we known for blowing up people? On July 16, 1945, the United States tested the first atomic bomb, called Trinity. And finally, new rules. We stopped blowing up people. That's bad, man. We destroyed their economy, and then we got to go build their economy again. That's a bunch of wasted resources. And so America needs to reinvest in America. The challenge for America is all Americans should see all of America. Like, I, I live in America, but I ain't never been to Detroit. Ain't Detroit the place where they build cars? I mean, I live in America, but I ain't never been to Hollywood. I mean, I want to go see some stars too, right? And so if we're going to look at America and how we push this nation forward, we really got to build. The only way that you can have upward mobility is if you have actual mobility. We got an American challenge. We're going to build high-speed rail from sea to shining sea, and we just gonna let all of Americans see all of America. You should be excited. Elon Musk, he's trying to build spaceships to outer space. Why are we going to outer space? I don't know nobody in outer space. I don't know nobody on no damn Saturn. I don't know nobody in no Jupiter. I'm trying to go meet some people in Los Angeles, you hear me? Hollywood, here I come. America is so expensive right now. Go Banking Rates analyzed how much a family of two adults and two children would need in each state to own a home, a car, and a pet, as well as have an additional 20% of their income for savings and 30% for discretionary spending. I think the average car note is like $700 to $1,000 or something like that. And then the average rent for a two-bedroom place in America is like $1,600. All 50 states require more than a $100,000 annual income, with 38 states needing more than $140,000. Just to play the game of life right now in America, you need $2,300 just to enter the game. And so America needs jobs. How do you put the American man back to work? You gotta build, baby, build. Instead of dropping bombs and blowing up people on the other side of the world, let's invest right here into America. Let's invest into you, the greatest American alive. If you don't tell your politicians what you want them to do, they gonna do whatever they wanna do. Tax the rich. <laughs> I'm just so proud and so thankful to our city for holding it down over this very difficult year, for making sure that we're getting vaccinated so that we can have this opportunity in this moment. For making sure that we're getting vaccinated so that we can have this opportunity in this moment. We're right at this moment, and so we just need to make sure that, that we encourage anyone else uh, that, that needs to, to get vaccinated or their second shot or whatever. Our politicians are bought and paid for. Hey America, I challenge you to build high-speed rail all the way across America, from Los Angeles all the way to New York. The whole world has trains. Japan, China, France, Germany, Spain, South Korea, South Korea, South Korea has trains. South Korea got high-speed rail and we ain't got no high-speed rail. What the hell we got going on in America? You gotta tell the government what you want them to do. Say, hey, listen here, government. You work for me. I'm the people and we is free. How about that, huh? <laughs> Why we gotta talk like that? Hey, government, you listen to me. You politicians, you work for me. It's time for the American person to be powerful again. <laughs> Let's build America to be the most powerful, strongest nation that's ever existed in the history of the world, baby. The greatest American alive. You are the greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.